Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Ganja by Dub Pistols, but it's the remix of Decline and Clue. So, this is the original track. <laughs> And this is the base we're going to be taking a look at. So if we place it on top of the original, that's what we get. But before we get started with the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Don't forget that if you want to get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists and we also have a lot of production resources like presets and sample packs on our website. Visit dmbacademy.com. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch and the first thing we're going to do is to get the simple pitch bending movement. So we're going to automate this on the doll. So the curve will look something like this. Very simple modulation. Now let's go back into Serum. And here in Serum, we're going to select the basic shapes wavetable, turn on the sub and the noise, then turn on oscillator B, and bring the level all the way down. And that is because we're going to run FM on oscillator A. Doesn't sound too special, but now we got to boost the octave on oscillator B. And you can already see where the texture is coming from. Now we're gonna map phone number one into the level of oscillator A. And set it on trigger. Create a more interesting curve like this. And maybe even remove the BPM function. And set the rate by ourselves. We're also gonna map this into the level of the sub. And bring the noise a bit lower. Now the magic comes when we distort this patch. There you go. Now let's go back into the oscillator section. And to add a bit more interest in the stereo field, we're going to add 16 voices of unisony on each oscillator. We're going to detune oscillator A more and bring the detune down on oscillator B. This will just make the patch a bit more dirty and dynamic in the stereo field. Now let's go into the effects section, and here we're going to turn on the chorus, set it on high pass. Next we're going to add a multiband compressor, boost the release. Next we're going to add an EQ, and here with this EQ we can boost the low mid. But not that drastic. Just like that to add a bit more of body. And just to finish this sound, we can add a bit of reverb. Let's bring the mix down and the decay a bit shorter. And now, if we play this on top of the original track, that's what we get. Now, you can always change the FM amount. And the octave, the detune setting, or remove it. And let's just, let's test this. That's cool. You can also add a weird filter on the effects here, maybe like a reverb filter. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Let's go back and maybe let's change the wavetable. Let's change the filter. Maybe layer it. There you go. As you can see, I'm just showing you ways in which you can vary this patch by tweaking specific parameters that are meaningful to the sound to create your own versions of this. That's cool. Maybe let's add sync here. Let's put the unison back. Let's 
So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos, and if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Don't forget that if you wanna get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists, and we also have a lot of production resources like presets and sample packs on our website. You just gotta visit dmbacademy.com. So thank you so much for watching, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.